Number 12 on the California Standards Test, a f or re released questions. A force is acting on each of the objects below. So here on the left-hand box, you see a force acting to the right of magnitude 3 newtons, and here downwards and here to the left. What can you conclude about these forces? A, all the forces are the same because they point toward the objects. Well, no. Forces are only the same if they have the same direction and the same size, or what we call magnitude. Letter B, they're the same because they have the same magnitude. Well, they do have the same magnitude, that's good, but they do not have the same direction. And they're different because they have different magnitudes. No, they have the same magnitudes. D, they're different because they have different directions. Yes, that's true, different directions. So D is the answer to number 12. And let's move on to number 13. Here, there are some people pushing a card against each other. And uh, we have the force of 200 newtons to the right, 150 newtons to the left. They are opposing each other. And forces that oppose each other and are unbalanced, you subtract because they're going opposite directions. So the net force, the resultant force vector, would go to the right, and 200 minus 150 is 50 newtons to the right. So the cart will move as if it were acted on by a single force with a magnitude of 50 newtons, and the direction would be to the right. So letter A is the answer for number 13. Number 14, a ball is dropped from the top of a tall building, and as the ball falls, the upward force of air resistance becomes equal to the downward pull of gravity. When these two forces become equal in magnitude, the ball will, well, what will it do? Okay, so imagine you have a ball. Here, I'll use my little hand cursor. It's starting to fall. Well, as it starts to fall, obviously gravity is pulling it down towards the Earth with an acceleration because gravity is a pull, which is a force. And every force has an acceleration inside of it, because force depends on mass and acceleration. That's according to Newton's second law. So anyway, as this object is falling, it starts to accelerate because of gravity. The pull of gravity makes it go faster and faster and faster as it goes down. Now the other force, though, that's acting upon this object is also friction. And friction is a force that opposes the direction of motion. So if I were, um, hopefully this pen tool works, Here's my object going down. It's going faster and faster because of gravity, but the particles of the air are starting to resist its motion. Here's the particles of air, and the friction is a force pushing back. Now, at some point, the air friction actually opposes the acceleration enough so that the force of gravity force of gravity going down actually equals the force of air friction going up. So once these two arrows become equal in magnitude, the forces are equal in size, the particle or the object is no longer going faster and faster and faster down. It's got balanced forces acting on it. Yeah, it's being pulled down because of gravity, but it's also being pushed back up because of air resistance. So we say that body is in free fall, and free fall is what skydivers um, experience. And it does not accelerate downwards. It goes at a constant speed downwards because it has no acceleration. The acceleration is zero. So constant speed acceleration equals zero. So it's not going to flatten. It falls at a constant speed. It does not continue to speed up because it does have the air friction, air resistance, and it certainly doesn't slow to a stop. It's still falling in the gravity field. Okay, so number 15. You have all these four forces acting on the box. What's it going to do? Well, 20 newtons to the right and 30 newtons to the left. The 30 newtons wins, and so it's got a net force here of 10 newtons to the left, because 30 minus 20 is 10. 40 down, 10 up, you get a net force of 30 going down. So we, I don't know, right, 30 going down. 
So it's going to head down and to the left um, with 30 newtons down, 10 to the left. Down and to the left is all it's asking for here, letter A. Let's move on and do another one here. Um, how can I make this bigger? Oh, something's beeping. Let me stop the 